At the southernmost tip of Louisiana exists a hub of activity that has doubled in size, growing at an incredible rate under the direction of professionals with keen insight and planning expertise. The place is Port Fouchon, and it is the nerve center of oil and gas drilling and production in the Gulf of Mexico. Port director Chet Chasson describes the port's development over the past three decades in terms of milestones. The oil bust of the 1980s actually caused Port Fouchon to grow. As oil prices plummeted, businesses that had facilities all across the Gulf Coast were looking to consolidate. Many chose to move to Port Fouchon because of its prime location. Not long after that, another milestone. In the 90s, in 1995, Congress passed the Deepwater Royalty Relief Act, which opened up the deep water to exploration and production of, of oil and gas. That really caused us to have another boom. Uh, we, we started growing and, and basically ran out of property, uh, didn't have any more property to lease out. So we had to look towards um, what we now call our northern expansion for uh, a 700 acre expansion. Uh, the port was originally a 600 acre area and we doubled the size by adding another 700 acres. Then in 2005, when Katrina hit, um, Venice was shut down to servicing the oil and gas industry. And then Rita, a month later, Hurricane Rita, caused Cameron to be shut down. So those facilities, uh, without being able to service the oil and gas industry, basically came to Port Fouchon. No matter where in the country you live, what goes on in Port Fouchon likely affects some aspect of your life. You know, whenever we have visitors from other parts of the country, we try to bring them down here and, and show them, you know, what's in Port Fouchon and explain to them the importance to, to not only the local economy, but the, the U.S. economy as a whole. Um, if, if for whatever reason Port Fouchon is not accessible or available um, to support the oil and gas production that it does, that has a direct and immediate impact on the whole country. The port currently comprised of 1,300 developed acres, is the primary nerve center of the Gulf Coast petroleum industry and for the vessels that support it. With the advent of remarkable drilling technology, Port Fushan has expanded from two to more than 250 companies in the past three decades. It serves as the intermodal support hub for 90% of Gulf of Mexico drilling and as much as 18% of U.S. domestic oil and gas production. We've been in the port probably uh, almost 25 years now, uh, and we thought it was a great location as the then beginning of the epicenter for the Gulf of Mexico oil and gas operations. Uh, it's really grown since that time, as we have, and I think we've grown along with the port, but uh, it's been a great location for our customers. We're in the shipyard business. Obviously, our, uh, our customers are the boat companies, and uh, Port Fouchon probably is the busiest place in Louisiana, if not the Gulf Coast, for the type of vessels we like to work on. America's expanding frontier is the deep water Gulf of Mexico, and Port Fouchon continues to serve as the leading supply base for that frontier. With its exceptional facilities and waterways that can accommodate drafts of up to 24 feet, it is the only Louisiana port with the capacity to support exploration and drilling on the outer continental shelf. Port Fouchon is also connected to another vital national asset, Loop. Port Fouchon is the service base for Loop, the Louisiana Offshore Oil Port, which is located 18 miles offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. That is this nation's only deep water oil port. The port literally swarms with activity. Every day, approximately 270 large supply vessels traverse the port's channels, and more than 1,200 trucks travel its roads. Every month, 15,000 people depend on the port for access to their jobs offshore. The Leonard Miller Jr. Airport is another invaluable port feature. The airport was acquired in 2001, along with 1,200 surrounding acres that are being developed as an industrial park. So far, more than $22 million has been spent on airport improvements, and there's been a 300% increase in traffic since its acquisition. 
able to accommodate everything from single-engine aircraft to 20-passenger business jets. Usage includes private recreational aircraft, search and rescue, crew transportation, flight instruction, fish spotting, and oil field support services. The airport's strategic location facilitates emergency response and recovery efforts in times of natural disaster or national crisis. Well, the best thing for us is the location of the uh, FAA uh, airport that is central to where our customers are located, and it's the closest airport to the Gulf Coast, and it's the closest airport to everybody that we need to fly to. So uh, it's a great location. Also, the double levee system around the airport provides that extra layer of protection that we need as well as um, just a lot of room for expansion and growth and we think that this is a, a strong location for future aviation development in this area. Beyond the oil and gas industry, Port Fushan is a multifaceted, multi-use facility with superior infrastructure to support commercial fishing, seafood production, shipping, tourism and recreation. There's a reason they call Louisiana the sportsman's paradise. We have such a large commercial fishing fleet uh, using Port Fouchon uh, for shrimping and, and other fishing and recreational fishing because of, of our location. Uh, the Bayou Lafourche Ridge, which is where Port Fouchon sits towards the Gulf of Mexico, uh, is right in the middle of two of the most abundant estuaries in the world, uh, the Terrebonne Estuary and the Baratari Estuary. Port Fushan has a large marina and tie-up facilities for commercial fishing vessels and dockside unloading. For all the sportsmen, there's a free public boat launch and beach access. In addition, groceries, supplies, and lodging are also available in port. A prominent port feature is the 500-foot wide, 24-foot deep East Slip. Located on 400 acres of elevated land in the heart of the port, it provides more than 18,600 linear feet of developed waterfront property to meet a wide range of mineral exploration and production needs. While hundreds of companies are based at the port, many, many more are seeking to locate here. And the northern expansion was undertaken to satisfy this surge in demand. The northern expansion is being developed on 4,000 acres north of the East Slip, with the first phase almost completely leased by companies eager to reserve their spots in the Gulf region's premier port. With that in mind, the Port Commission has begun the second phase of the northern expansion, which includes non-waterfront and waterfrontage property that features a slip with thousands of linear feet of steel sheet pile bulkhead. Importantly, construction is underway on a two-lane elevated highway from Golden Meadow to Port Fushan. The LA-1 project is vital due to the fragility of the existing highway, especially in light of the significant increase in traffic to and from the port. The elevated LA-1 will provide a secure evacuation route for tens of thousands of people in the event of a storm and the increased accessibility to the interstate system will greatly expand the economies of the shipping, tourism, and recreation and commercial fishing industries. Port Fouchon is governed by Louisiana's only elected Board of Commissioners, which oversees the port's annual $77 million budget. Its 37 employees direct its day-to-day -day operations. Uh, the Greater Lafourche Port Commission has played a vital role in our success. We really consider them partners uh, for Medicine Chouest and all we do in Port Fouchon. Uh, they're definitely pro-growth, pro-jobs, and pro-business. So with all those put together, we're seeing record low unemployment in the area, and they've really been a, a vital part of our success and an excellent partner in all the success Chouest has had in Port Fouchon. So it's been a great working relationship, and we hope to continue that in the future under the new leadership. But they've really been pro-jobs, pro-business, and pro-growth, so we continue to invest based on, on that relationship. The responsibility for the security of Port Fushan is in the capable hands of the Port's Harbor Police Department, which is armed with sophisticated wireless surveillance systems covering the highways, waterways, facilities, and beach. In addition to law enforcement and patrol, these exceptional men and women are first responders to port emergencies, and they work closely with local, state, and federal agencies in law enforcement, emergency drills, and emergency planning. 
We do everything that a normal police force would do. We enforce all traffic laws in port. We also are out on the water. We do escorts for, for large vessels and coming in and out of port. The U.S. Coast Guard, Border Patrol, U.S. Bureau of Customs, and the Fushan Fire Department are also located in port. So what does the future hold for Louisiana's southernmost port? Well, one thing our clients can depend on is the port's continued commitment to work hand in hand with them to achieve their goals. We back that commitment with superior infrastructure and an environment that fosters solid business development. This year in 2010 uh, marks our 50th anniversary of the Port Commission. And uh, we've been growing for 50 years. And uh, a port that started with just one shell road to one dock in Fouchon has grown to uh, providing world-class uh, infrastructure. Port Fouchon is indeed a world-class facility positioned to meet the challenges of the future. We pledge to chart the same course that has been the foundation of our success. Strong partnerships with our clients, solid environmental stewardship, and a commitment to our community and to our country.